On the steps of City Hall today, the divide of how some of the city view the war in Israel. With Sky 4, you can see a rally and a protest in front of City Hall. Today, local Republican leaders spoke out in support of Israel and the government backing of them in this now three-week-old war. Others nearby were showing support for Palestine, speaking out for those who have been killed. News for Jack supporter Jim Pickett was there as well. And Jim, uh, it was peaceful. It was very peaceful. No arrests were made. Now, I've got to tell you, it's a lot quieter here now than it was at around 1230. Let me show you what took place here. Basically, on the front steps of City Hall, there were Republican leaders speaking out in support of Israel. But over here, there were those supporting Palestine. And as they were shouting more, they kept being pushed back. It appeared that police were expecting problems. Before the rally this afternoon, they placed barricades around the park in front of City Hall. Local Republicans, including Congressman John Rutherford and Congressman Aaron Dean, speaking out for Israel. But across the way, there were those from the Palestine Solidarity Network and others shouting support for Palestine. Do you hear that free speech? That is America. That is free speech. Here's the irony, the irony in the Middle East. There's only one country that offers that free speech to, and it's Israel. You couldn't do that. No other country would allow that except Israel. But those with the Palestinian group say they need to be heard. Their message is important. This Palestine supporter talked to us, but didn't want us to use her last name. So we want our representatives to ask for a ceasefire, to stop supporting genocide, stop sending our tax dollars to Israel when they're not the ones who need help. If you see the videos, there are no armed Palestinians. There's no Palestinian tanks, no Palestinian helicopters. Along with the elected the leaders, there were local not Jewish delegations small... and the head of this group, Christians United for Israel. We don't want anyone to die. Unfortunately, the reality of war is that people die. We don't want any innocent to die, but we are standing with Israel nonetheless for its right to defend itself. During the two events and as the shouting continued, JSO kept using their bikes to push back the Palestinian groups. At the end of the Republican event, I did have a chance to ask the elected leaders this question. What do you want to tell the Palestinian residents that live in Jacksonville? You represent them as well. But what I would say is we deplore civilian loss of life for any reason, anywhere. And that applies to the Palestinians in the Gaza Strip also. And what ought to happen is Hamas, a terrorist group, who has hijacked the government there ought to surrender and stop using the Palestinians as human shields and they should release the hostages. Again, there were no arrests made down here. It gets us a lot of shouting and both sides were hoping that their message is being heard. We're live at City Hall, Jim Pickett, Channel 4, The Local Station.